Hi and welcome back to my channel. So it's yeah, um, been a while since I've done any um, videos. It's been about two weeks or just over two weeks. Um, I did take a little break just to catch up on things around the home. Um, and I've been back and forth to the doctors as well because I've got high blood pressure. So I've been taking things a little bit easy. But I've been I've missed making cards and doing the videos, so yeah, I'm monitoring my blood pressure. So um, the last few days, which is still ongoing at the moment, but I just need to get in and make some more videos and some more cards because I've not done it for a while. So these ones are going to be more or less simple, sort of like cards, really. So I'm coming back in with the last of the um, magazine one, which was the um, wonderful one winter time um, kit that comes with the magazines that you get. <coughs> so I've got the Mr and Mrs Reindeer and it's called Warmest Wishes. So I'm just going to get on with a... This is a 6x6 six six card, so I think my first card is just going to be more or less a straightforward um, card to start off back with. So I'm just getting my trimmer out. And the card stock I'm going to be using for this one is going to be this Prezi one. And I do need to get a Miri card down as well. So to start with I'm going to do 4 notches under the 6 by four notches under the six. I'm going to turn that over just because it's curled up a little bit. Four notches under the six and I'm going to grab myself some Miri card which I've got here. I'm just grabbing an A4 sheet Miri card which is from Hunky Dory and I'm going to cut this one down two notches under the six by two notches under the six. So that is all the cutting down I need to do for this card and then I need to get my glue so my glue is the all purpose Kalau all purpose and then the Kalau tacky so we're good to go and on the back of here I'm just going to put the Kalau purpose just down the middle, not to go too close to the edge as it does take the shine off of your mirror card with that alcohol glue based. So I'm just going to put that on there. I'm doing a temp fold. So it's, as I said, 6x6 six six card blank cut from a um, 300 GSM. I'm just going to place it on there and then I'm going to do the same with this one just all purpose glue on the back and then tacky in the four corners and then place it onto the front of there so that's your mat and layer if you can hear whirring in the background, that's my laptop making a whirring noise. I was just on there to check where I'd got to with my what video I did last so I could carry on from where I've finished off. And it's just this last topper set from the magazine. So that is that one there. And with this topper not sure whether I'm going to go make the big one or whether I'm going to use these smaller ones and then use the big one on a different card, a different style um, because I like to use all the sheet up I don't like leaving bits but I'm not 100% sure hmm. I'm going to go in with Mrs Reindeer I was going to use the smaller toppers and then use the bigger toppers on something else but 
I'm going to go with this one, I think. I don't know whether I want to use all of it or whether I just want to use a little bit of it. You know, whether I want to use the whole, all of the frames or just the outer frame and not the gold in the frame. But I think I'm going to go with all of them for a change. And I'm just going to bring in this foam pad reel, which this is from the works. Going to stick that right across there so that it holds all of these frames in place because they do. If you don't put the, f the, the foam pads all the way across, they do tend to separate. So I'm just going to put that on there. It's going to do another little bit at the bottom just so that's holding that in there, gives it a bit more support as well. I'm just going to pull the backings off of this. And then pull that off of there. And where I've not been um, crafting for a few weeks, I have been watching like Hunky Dory TV on YouTube. And seeing all the lovely things that they've been doing over the last couple of weeks, um, and then with the new free kit that they've just brought out, which is for the gentle for the gents, so I'll be getting that one and the one that's in full bloom that they did. Just going to put this on here if I can get it to go where I want it. There we go, just put it on as straight as possible and then we've got warmest wishes to you both or seasons greetings sent with love and a little tree there and you got a little clock there which I might keep that one for the one above because that's got the little clock in there and the tree one I'll probably put on this one if we can get it off and then because this one's got the presents in I think I'm going to put the one with the present on here as well which says season's greetings as she's got the tree in the background. Uh, it's going to get a normal foam pad for this one. If I can get them. One of these from the works as well. There we go. And put this one, where am I going to put this one? Up oh, the top here because it's the one that's the sentiment. So that can go there. Excuse me while I've got an itch. And then this one. Another foam pad there. Oops, missed the bin. I'll put a little bit of a tacky glue on the back of there the foam pad just for a little bit more support and a wriggle room and that one's going to go down the bottom there like so so that one is finished apart from some gems which um which one shall I use today I've got a really itchy arm um let's have a look I might go with some gold gold gems today. I was thinking of bows but I thought bows might be a bit too much. I could put one bow on, this top one here, if I can find a nice like greeny or red maybe. Just going to tip a few of these out into my tray here so that I can get them out bit better. Just give them a bit of a shimmy shake and then find my picky up tool um, which I seem to have misplaced somewhere. Oh here we are, found it. Okay so on this bottom one I'm going to put a gem. I'm going to put one of my bigger ones on that one. So here, there we go, you can stay on there, Mr. Jim. And I'm going to put 
one up here, two there, one there and one there. Thank you very much, Lee. Oops, run away, Gem. Where did you go? I don't know, I'll find you in a second. Oh, dropped you as well. Come on, turn over. I wasn't, oh, I'll get another one out. There we go. One up there. Oops, oh dear dear. Sometimes these picky up tools are not that great. One down the bottom there. Now I need two smaller ones. That one there. You turned over just at the right time. And you just down there. Okay. And then, oh, you're not very straight, are you? Straighten you up a little bit. Better. And then I'm going to look for a green, or no, red, I don't even know if I've got any red bows. Oh, I have somewhere. Oh, here we go. There's a red bow. I don't know if you're too small though. Oops. Or too bright, maybe. Um. Oops. You've fallen out. Oh, I can't even pick them up. Okay, red gem, red red bow, red bow, red bow. Here we go, red bow. Oh, you're quite a nice colour one. Dark. But again, you might work. Yeah, I think you're going to work. Now, where are my dots? Dots. Where did I put you last time I used you? Aha, found you in my little drawer. Here we go. So let's get one of these dots off of here. And I have been watching Sybil Jane as well. While I've not been crafting. Oh, I've got that glue dot stuck to me board now. Oh, I'll throw that one away. Let's start again. Stick you onto the back of there. I mean, you can just stick these on with the um, tacky glue or the all-purpose glue. I can't remember which one is the best one for sticking these on, but I tend to use glue dots for sticking bows on. So you're just going to go onto there like so. And there we have the first card done. Oh, I found that gem. Uh, put that to the side and I'm going to come straight in with the second card this one is still going to be just going to move some of my tools out of the way this one is going to be a six no it is going to be a easel card that's the word I was looking for Turn it over to my inches because I work better in inches than I do in centimetres. Just going to get my score tool. So I'm going to score at three and then score down the middle at six. And that's all the scoring I need to do for that one. So I'm just going to move you out the way and fold you. Hopefully, you're straight. Fold you over and then give you a good old burnish down and I'm going to score you as well down the middle for diddle there we go that's the shape of my card so it'll stand like that so now I need another piece of card gold mirror Let's get my trimmer I don't know if this is going to be big enough. Probably not. No. So what I'm going to do is take a 6x6 six six Miri card. And go two notches under the 6. Oops, missed the bin again. By two notches under the 6. 
which that is going to be for my inside of the card and then I need a piece of cardstock whoops a piece of cardstock which is going to be four notches under the six I'm not very good at getting things in the bin today guys that's the second time I've missed the bin and the bin is right next to me it's virtually like right by the side of me and I still can't hit the bin even though I'm sitting right next to it so that is for that bit under there let me just move them out of the way shut my door so I've got a bit more space move them out of the way so I don't knock them flying get rid of my other rubbish see if I can get it in the bin this time which yes she did so now I need this bit I don't know if this is going to be it's going to be two notches under the three, but I still don't know if it's big enough. Because sometimes when you cut a note, it's too small. So I can use that on a different thing. It's not going to be a problem. So I'm just going to take another piece of this one and go two notches under the three. Because I know that one would be good for another piece. For another easel card and two notches under the six so that's going to be for that top bit there and then I need this other piece of card here so what I'm going to do with this one is four notches under the three so I'll still have that big bit and then what I want to do with this one is because it's got to be six it's going to be four notches under the six I don't want the tartan bit on there I want this bit in the middle to go on this card so what I'm going to do is take it down to five no I'm going to take it down to what I need the four notches under the six no I'm not. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut that bit off just to make this a bit easier and then I can use that and cut that four notches under the six. Okay, so then that bit should fit on there perfectly and it does. I'm just going to put my trimmer down there and then we're going to start assembling this together. I'm just going to turn that over so it doesn't blind you while I'm gluing, putting the glue on here. So again, they're all purpose, just on the back of that card, along the middle, and then the tacky glue in the corners. Turn that over. And then hopefully place this down onto this one. With any luck, it'll go how I want it to go on. <coughs> and then again with the all purpose glue down the back, and then tacky glue on the four corners. And then stick that onto the inside of this one. Sorry if my head gets in the way. Just gonna hold that up for a minute, make sure it's okay. Make sure when you fold it down, it's not gonna get interfere with that fold. And then the same with this one. All purpose down the middle and then the tacky glue in the four corners and I think I'm going to put it up this way the same way it shows on the cardstock before I cut it down 
stick that across there. More tacky glue in the four corners again. And then place this onto the front of this one. So I'm just holding that down, the flap at the front, just holding that down while I place this on so that I can press it down. There we go, perfect. And then we're going to come in with, oh, dropped another bit on the floor. And then come in with Mr. Claus, I mean Mr. Claus, Mr. Reindeer. And he has only got two frames anyway. So as I'm going to stick with the two frames again, obviously, for this one because they don't have the inner frame on this one. So as this is a easel card, you don't, don't need to go too far up with this one so I'm just going to put another strip there and then check sometimes I don't put these on very straight and then when I have to go and put them on the card they're wonky and they um, come above sometimes so if I put any more on there it won't work so that's fine like that there we go I don't think I've got a very straight eye, to be fair. Just put a bit of tacky glue on the back of there. I'm going to place them down flat so I can get this on, hopefully, where I want it to go. Make sure he's straight. Move him over slightly. Just check the back, yep, yeah, that's fine. And then that's how it's looking so far. Like that, he's got presents as well. He's reading the list, the naughty list. And I'm coming in with one of these banners. Just going to snip that out. Same with this side. Pull that one out. I'm going to use this red one, which says a Christmas wish sent from the heart. I'm just going to flatten that down for a minute. This is going to be my stopper. Mm. Maybe not go all the way across, maybe cut off where that heart is. So I'm just going to snip that down. Hopefully, it goes straight. I'm going to snip this down a little bit. There we go. So now I need foam pad or foam for that one. So I think I'm going to come in with these little strips that I've got. And I've missed the bin again. How can you miss the bin when you're sitting right on top of it? Right, put you in the bin. Let's pick this up from the floor because otherwise it'll bug me. Right, just peeling these backings off. And get these off. You might actually get another card made with this little. Oh, I've got your chair now. Um, you might get another sneaky f card with this one. Normally, I only make about two cards per video. Depends how long they actually take me to make. But these are pretty quick cards. So I'm just going to come just above that little envelope there and place that there and then when you stand this up 
it will stand and lean against that bit so it doesn't fall flat. You have to excuse me while I have a bit of a itch. When I get hot, I get really, really itchy. So it does me, it does my head in. I was cold earlier, so I put a cardigan on, and now I'm. I've got a bit warm, and now I'm a little bit itchy. So I'm going to place that on there. And then put that on there. Bring you down. I'm going to place you right there. Whoops, nearly wobbled. There we go. You've got your little clock. What are you? Oh, yeah, you're the bit I snipped off. You can go up there. And then this one I'm going to put at the bottom because it says Scent with Love. Foam pad. Just on there, a bit of tacky glue, just in case I need to give it a bit of a wriggle. This one's going to come down this left corner, scent with love, and then all I've got to do with this one is put some little gems on. Hopefully I can flip some of these over, oops, not tip them out. See, some of these do not want to tip over, flip over. There we go. Give it a bit of a flip on the thing. It's like playing tiddlywinks with gems. Okay, one gem there. Another one there. Next size up. I'm going to have to... Try, oops, I'm going to have to try and do these without moving the ones at the bottom that I've just put on because they don't take much for them to move about. One there, There's smaller ones on here. Come on. And then another smaller one. And that's what I'm going to put on them. It's just them for you. I don't want to bring that down in case it falls off. And then I'm probably going to come in with another bow on that one. No, not that colour. Come in with another red one. To put on that clock. that clock is just on there like that and then I'm going to hold that up like that because I was going to put a gem on here hopefully they don't slide off them gems I've put up there because I'd be well annoyed if they fall off and there we have it so that is card number two so, as I say, that one sits like that, that one, the yeah, first one, we bring that one back in for a minute. So that is that one. I've got the inserts to go into them, and the insert for that one. So that is two cards at the moment, and I'm going to make one small card while these dry, and I'll bring them back in once I've finished. But I'm just going to have a little bit of a tidy down for a minute, and I'll be back. Okay, so I'm back. I've had a little bit of a play around and I've just cut some pieces up. So I had that bit of cardstock that I used on the other one and I've done a 6x4 um, a piece of cardstock and I've done it into a fold back card and then I've done these, the mats and layers. So this one here is two notches under the three by two notches under the four and then four notches under the three by two, four notches under the four. This one is two notches under the six by two notches under the four. And then this one, four notches under the six by four notches under the four. So, and I've got these two little toppers left, which I thought 
this little circle topper here has got the Mr. and Mrs. Reindeer in, so I thought that's the good one to use on here with this one. So I'm just coming in with my all purpose glue, then my tacky in these four corners, and I'm just going to place this down onto this one. So this is the matte and layer in, as I say. I'm going to do the same with this one, and then we'll assemble it onto the, the card blank. So just down the centre of that one, just in the four corners on this one, place down on here, like so, and then back to the all-purpose just down the middle of that one and then the tacky one on the corner and then place this down onto there so this this week uh, of work I've had well Saturday was a shop was very very busy it was manic um which i know saturdays in working in a supermarket yeah shops do get busy on saturdays but our store has been quiet on a saturday i mean this was exceptionally busy so that is going to go on to there like that yeah, so I don't know why all of a sudden, like yesterday, it was really busy compared to the rest of the Saturdays that we've had when we work, when I work in a, in the store. It just seemed like it was crazy yesterday. Um, yeah, so it kind of, I mean, knackered me because we've got we've got bad back anyway, and. <clears throat> I've got bad knees as well so and yeah with everything else going on my blood pressure and everything like that kind of whacked me out yeah you know so this one I'm not going to use the outer frame of this one just because this card's not really big enough to warrant the um, that really the frame so I'm just going to put a couple of these little tiny foam pads onto this one and then peel that one off and then I'm going to put this one in this corner here, no I'm not, I'm going to put this in this corner here and then this one is the um, warmest wishes to you both I'm going to find another little foam pad using up some of my little bits and pieces that I have floating around I did drop one on the floor so I'm going to see if I can pick that one up yeah, so work is getting crazy busy. And lead up to Christmas as well, which is always a busy time of year for supermarkets. Any of you out there that do work in the supermarket know where I'm coming from. And anyone that shops in the supermarket near Christmas time will understand how busy the stores get so here we go with this one up here as well okay so that is that one just gonna put a couple of gems on this one not gonna go too mad with it because there's a lot of pattern on this and I don't want to take it away from that so I'm just gonna put one in each of these top corners bottom corner top corner not very big ones because it's only a six by four tent fold card 
smaller one down there and then there we have oops there we have that one so all I've got left really out of that topper set is that frame and a few pieces of cardstock left over which I normally cut down the decent sized ones to use on use the strips on different um types of card like craft card so I use the strips to make up a background and then I've got this bit left over from the last few cards obviously the inserts I've got to go in yet I've still got so that's not that's from when I made a card out of something else so that's the other inserts that I've got there for cards that I've missed putting inserts in I think so that is that and all I've got left out of this kit is some quite you know astounded that I've still got two full sheets of cardstock I've got parchment as well piece of paper with the pat with the um, cutouts on the back which I don't really use another piece of um, parchment and another piece there and then that one and then that so I've still got quite a bit left over from that kit but that is that kit finished now so that's another like bonus I've finished another magazine kit the last one I did was the Highland um, I can't remember what it's called, Highland something. Highland, or what were you called? No, I can't remember. Highland something or other. Let me just check. Highland, what way are you? Highland Wild. What? Highland Wildlife was the last kit I worked with. So let me just bring in the car, first card and second card. So there was my first card, the A, the, the A, the 6x6, just tent fold, the 6x6 easel card, and then the 4x6 or 6x4 um, fold back card. So that is it for this video. Um, the next video I come in with, I'm hoping or I'm going to try and work with the humour kit that I put out on video which was my last, I think my last unboxing video that I did was with the humour kit. So I might, I'm going to try and make some cards with that and I do have the cardstock that goes with that one as well and I do have like duo design pads as well so that's probably what I'm going to come in with next time make some out of that one um, yeah so I'm going to break from Christmas for a bit now because I think I've made I've got a whole box full of Christmas cards made up now so I don't need to make any more at this moment in time unless I get any um, requests from work which I tend to sometimes from a few people at work that have like Pacific Christmas cards made up which I don't have a problem doing from friends at work um, same with family um, yeah so that is it for this one I um, hope you enjoyed um, the video and me I'm coming back after such a you know longish break just over two weeks um, and also, yeah, I would just like to say thank you to everyone that supports my channel and likes my videos. And I'd also like to say thank you to all my new subscribers over the last couple of weeks. I've now reached over, got 200, just over 200, I think the last time I looked was 201 subscribers. So, yeah, I'm getting there with this, with it, with this channel. So, yeah, I would love to be able to do more videos. But obviously with working full time I don't get a chance to do as many as I would like. And now and again I have to take a break from doing them because... Not because I don't want to do them, it's just because I need to t sit back and, you know, relax. Although this is relaxing but what I mean is I need to sit back and just chill from like doing videos. I just need to catch up on like TV shows and stuff like that that I like to watch because now Strictly's back so yeah that's another one of my faves 
that's on the telly at the moment. Um, yeah, so anyway guys, thanks for all the support, do really appreciate it. So until next time, stay safe and keep crafting. Bye for now.